everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, well welcome. Glad to have you here. Today I am making a set of champagne glasses for the bride and the groom. They're very glittery, very sparkly. Um, I think they came out great and I just wanted to share with you guys how I made them. I hope the volume on this video is better. Uh, I've had people say that they can't hear me. They seem to sound fine when I edit the videos, but for some reason after I download them, they're very low. So let me know how the volume is on this. And so first you're going to need to get two champagne glasses. I purchased these at the Dollar Tree. And I want to make a line around the top here to where our dress or tuxedo is going to start. So I took a dry erase marker and I just taped it onto a ruler. And I'm going to try to hold that steady there. I taped it at six and a half inches. So then I'm just going to spin the glass on the marker and hopefully we come out with a nice straight line. It's like that. So now this is the hardest part of the whole thing is just getting it taped off and get it ready to paint. So I'm going to use some floral tape to go around the line here because this stuff bends really good so you can get a good clean line going around in a circle. So I'm just going to tape that right at the line and this stuff stretches and bends real nice. So there, so that's right on top of that line and then I cut out a triangle out of some duct tape that we're going to use for um, the V in the neckline. So I'm going to tape that right just on the edge of the floral tape. There. Now this you don't want to get any paint on, so I'm just going to cover that up with some masking tape. And then I cut out a circle out of just a, actually a note card, or you can use anything, and just to cover the top because you don't want to get any paint on the inside. So I'm just going to tape that down. And just make sure everything's covered so no paint gets in there. Like I said, this is pretty much the hardest part of the whole project. I'm just making sure you get your glass covered that you don't want any paint on. Okay, so now that's ready to paint. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put uh, two coats of white spray paint on this one. And I have this one taped up already and I'm going to spray him with black spray paint. So after that is done, we will be back to go to our next step. Okay, so here they are all painted up. I put two coats of spray paint on each one. Um, you don't have to use spray paint if you don't want. You could use an acrylic or something else that you'd like to put on the glass. I'm going to start on the bride and I'm going to put some glitter using some Mod Podge that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I have some glitter here that I had left from other projects, but you can also get that at the Dollar Tree. This also had the black, and I mixed some of the black and the silver together for that I'm going to use on the groom's tuxedo. Alright, so first we're just going to take some of our Mod Podge. Stick it on one of my handy dandy little Dollar Tree plates. 
and we're going to where'd they go? Oh, here it is. Just put a, a thin coat all over the white and then we're just going to cover all the white up with some glitter. And I like using these plates because that way I can catch the glitter and, you know, reuse whatever falls off. And tap off the excess. So there it is, all nice and glittery. So we're just going to keep going around and paint the entire thing all the way down. We're going to paint the bottom with some Mod Podge and we're going to cover this all up with glitter. Okay, here she is all covered in glitter. Um, I didn't do the bottom because that's going to be covered with the tool pom-poms. So I really didn't feel that I needed to put any glitter down on the bottom of this because you're not going to see it anyway. So now we're going to take, we're going to let that dry just for a little bit. And I'm going to take the groom here and we're going to do the same thing. And I'm going to do the bottom of this one with the glitter. So we're just going to, same as with the bride, we're just going to paint all over with the Mod Podge. And then take our glitter. Tap it off. And then we will have a very pretty groom here. Could have used maybe a little more black, but I think this will look great. Okay, so I'm going to finish painting him up and sprinkling his glitter, and then we'll come back. Okay, we're all glittered up here. I went ahead and took all of the tape and paper off, except on the groom. You're going to want to leave the floral tape or whatever tape you used uh, around your little, where your V was. I removed the little V um, duct tape because we're going to paint that white and it'll make a nice clean line. So you want to leave that on until you're finished painting it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of just white acrylic and we're going to just fill that in so you can see. And I'm just going to fill that in with a little bit of white. And then we're going to put glitter right on top of this so it doesn't have to be um, painted perfectly. Just enough to hold your glitter and so you can't see through it. It just looks better. Okay, and now we're just going to take some of our glitter our white glitter. Let me get rid of this. And we're just going to put that right on top of the paint. So there we have our tuxedo shirt. I got a little bit down there where it's not supposed to. Okay. So now you can go ahead and remove that uh, floral tape. Get that off of there. Let's see if we can find the end. At the end. Uh. All right. Well, we're gonna get this off of here somehow. There we go. And then you can just go ahead and clean up around the top of that. You know, you might want to just let it dry for a little bit. So we're going to set him aside, let him dry, and then we'll clean up all the tape um, residue and it'll be lovely. So we're going to work on our bride. We have her all finished and the first thing I'm going to want to do is go around with some of the diamond wrap. This I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. You can get this at Walmart or wherever. And I just cut out a single row that we're going to hot glue around the neckline of our dress. So you're going to want to apply the glue to the diamond wrap because if you put the hot glue right on the glass it, it tends to dry too quickly. So we're just going to go up here and then just glue this all the way around.
just want to go just a little bit, just, you know, so just right on top of that line that you made, so it hides, you know, the separation there. And if I can do this straight, it would be great. All right, we'll pick our glue off later. I'm just going to go to the corner here and then bend it down and just glue it on like so. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, then we're just going to go ahead and cut that off. So it comes to a nice point here. And there we have, there we have our neckline. And then I also have these that I purchased at um, Michael's. I got them 60% off. They were $3.99. It's just a sheet of these little, like, flowery gemstones. Um, they're supposed to be self-adhesive, but as you can see, when you peel them off, the sticky stuff stays on the paper and not the gem. So I don't know if that's why they were 60% off. But I cut one of those out. And I'm going to put that right down here to make her dress a little more fancy. There, I think that's beautiful. And now we're going to make our pom-poms for the bottom. This is really simple to do. I know there's probably a million different ways that you guys know how to make pom-poms, but I'm using the tool. Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. It comes in uh, eight yards long. I'm not sure how wide it is. Well, it's eight, eight yards. Let's see. It is six inches wide. So I'm going to take that. Push it back. Now this is how I made mine. I just took a bunch of the tool, wrapped it around my hand, and grabbed a hold of it there. And then I just wrapped it around my hand like ten times. So one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then I just cut this off. So then I'm just going to slide this off and try to keep the center. And I'm going to take this bread tie and just put it in the center and snug it up real tight. I mean, you can slide it around a little bit afterwards to get it exactly in the center like so. So it'll look like a little bow. And then you're going to want to go in and cut these open. Just like so. So now this is the start of your pom-pom. You're just going to want to pull that all tight to the forward like so. And then you can just trim it up so it's nice and round. Just take the ends off. Now you're going to want to make two of these. So I already made the other one. And you're just going to... Well, let's see. I need to trim this off of here a little bit. Now you're going to want to put some hot glue over where your twist tie is, and we're going to glue this one to the front. As soon as I get some more glue here. So I just put a little glop of glue, and we're just going to stick that right down here in the bottom, like so. And then you're going to want to take your other one and do the same thing on the back. Just going to put some glue here in the center and glue that one onto the back.
And then you can puff this around a little bit. But there we have our bottom of our dress with some little pom-poms. And I think she turned out really cute. And you can mess with this and trim it. I see a few that need to be trimmed. But, but yes, that's it for our wedding dress. So now we're going to set her aside and bring over our groom. Now for our groom, he's pretty easy. I just cut out a three inch long piece of black gross gain ribbon. This I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take a three inch piece of that and well, actually I'm going to take one of my zip tie or my um, bread ties and take the paper off of it. So I just want to use the wire. And I'm just going to fold this over and fold it over again. So that's about in the middle. And you can play around with it. I'm not sure how big you, you know, want it or not. And then just kind of pinch them together like that. Make a little bow tie. And then I'm just going to, if I can get a hold of it here, wrap the bread wire around the center. And then just twist that tight in the back. Okay, we're going to put a little a little gemstone in the center so you're not going to see your wire. So let me just trim this off. There. So we're just going to go ahead and glue him on there. Put him right here. And I still have not got my glue off. We'll get that. Okay, and now we're going to get our little gemstone. It's just a little um, plastic gemstone. You can get these at Michael's, sometimes at the Dollar Tree. They come in all different sizes, usually a variety of sizes in a bag. So we're going to take one of those and just glue that to the center of the bow, bow tie. Glue webs, just like that. So now you can't see your wire. And then I have these little black gemstones. I bought a sheet of these also. I think I got these at Michael's too when they were 60% off. And these are also self-sticking, but they don't stick too good. So I'm just going to take two of these and we're going to glue on some little buttons. I don't know how I'm going to do this without burying my fingers. I don't have tweezers in here. All right. And I'm just going to add one more. Hopefully. This is not easy. I really need tweezers. Okay. And there is our groom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clean all the glue off of this and set these guys up for their wedding, and we'll be right back. All right, here's our happy couple. I think these came out really super cute. Um, by all means, you could do a toast, but they're definitely not machine washable or hand washable. You would more, just kind of have to wipe them down. They're more for decoration purposes, but I think they're really pretty and just, you know, to make your event a little more special. I do have glitter all over, but that's okay. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this idea. Um, I hope the volume was a little bit better on this video. Please let me know if it's still too low. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.